Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is Saturday, November 19th, 2011. I'm talking with Mr. Monushin, uh, a long time resident of New York, of New Jersey. Has been a, there is a place named Monushin Mono Plaza in Jersey City. Um, uh, we are meeting in Pomona. Rockland County, New York State. Uh, Manuda, what's your dish? When people ask you this, what do you say your dish? My dish is India. India. What place in India? I was born in Calcutta. Okay. And so you're raised in Kolkata. Right. Yeah. Good, very good. And how long you have been in the United States? 41 years. 41 years. And um, did you study in Kolkata? Yes, I studied in Calcutta University, master degree, law degree. Okay. I obtained from Calcutta University. And then, then you worked in New, New, in where in, in the United States? What place? It is a long story. Okay, short. I was economist of New Jersey State. Okay. And then finally, I ended up as director of nutrition program in New Jersey and also in New York. Okay. Uh, long before the Older American Act was enacted okay. in 1965, okay. the Jewish people in 1942, after they had immigrated from Germany, being evicted, they established in South Bronx called William Hudson Center. Okay. I was the special worker uh, organizer there. Okay. And then finally, I came to the largest Jewish center in Wall Street downtown, 20 Washington Square, okay. carrying community, and I was overwhelmed with the programs that I had to run, 20, 30 programs every day. Okay, very nice. Now, tell me, let me ask you, when you grew up in Kolkata, where in what pa part of Kolkata did you grow up? I grew up in Ultanaga, Telangana, okay. then moved to uh, Shankpukul, Bangwajan. Okay, yeah. this is a very... No, Bagbaja yeah. is a very old city, right. very mixed city, yeah. mixed place, right? Yes, it is. Um, and and uh, so, um, so, do you have, because our project is Partition Documentation Center, so let me ask you, when you grew up, uh, were you there in during 1947 Partition? Do you have any memory of Partition? I was in Calcutta, but okay. long before Partition came, I had the opportunity of visiting Kulna district number of times okay. when Japan bombed Calcutta okay. and Hathiyogan Baja. Mm -hmm. We had to move to Satkhya subdivision okay. in Kulna district in my uh, uncle's house, okay. uh, my father's sister's house mm -hmm. and I was very excited to see now Bangladesh, it is in Bangladesh, but the plenty of cultivation, the plenty of fruits, the people's simplicity impressed me very much. Okay. Kulna was a, was a Muslim, a Hindu majority district. Yes, Satkira yes. was a Hindu majority district. What was your, the profession of your uncle uh, back there? What did he do? He had three rice mills okay. in Calcutta okay. and they were very, very rich people. Okay. Did they, 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 they continue to have it after 47 partition? No, the Muslims, they took their 18 lakhs of rupees property by force. Really? Yes. And uh, they were, and they, did, they, did they have to leave their home or did they stay in Kashatkira or they came back to, went to Calcutta? Calcutta, because one of their family members became, long as that my uncle's uh, son, he became MSc first class first and then he went to medical school. And he married to a Chinese lady in Singapore. He made 50 millions of dollars in Singapore and he became the richest one. And he helped each member of the family. Okay. So in 47, do you, do you remember? So you fled, then you came back. Was there any incidents in Kolkata or Kulna? Yes. I, lost, I had lost my mother in 41 when I was 16 years. And then my father got me married in 47. And every day in our house in Bangladesh, we used to watch the Muslims in the neighborhood might attack us. So we are ready to <laughs> repulse them. 
But Muslims were a minority in Bagh Bajar, wasn't weren't they? No, they are minority, but they are substantial numbers. Okay. And they were killed by the Hindus, that was wrong. Okay, they, they were Hindus attacked them and killed some of Muslims too. Okay. So you were not affected? And no, but, no. But, but did you did you did you know that anybody got involved there in attacks and No, failures? I did not know but okay. uh, when we used to go to the University of Calcutta, we are surrounded by Nafada Masjids and yeah. all those areas and yeah. we are very uh, apprehensive of being attacked. Oh, I see. Yeah, Nafada Masjid is not that, that far from there. Um, so, so, so how was the situation like before and after partition? The Calcutta, I mean, social conditions... It has, it has completely changed because the... Uh, upward movement of the Bengalis, their social life in Calcutta was so high, nobody could touch a person going in the bus or the tram. They maintained safe distance and they were well dressed. Now, after partition, it is not our fault. It is due to partition, a lot of people came and there was congestion in the bus, congestion in the train. And Bengali culture to some extent was affected by the immigrants from Bangladesh. The refugees, the refu Hindu yes. refugees from yes. Bangladesh. Yes. Uh, they, they, they really <clears throat> affected it. Now, <clears throat> when you went to school in Kolkata, uh, were there Muslim students also in your class? Yes. And in our school days, we had two Muslims. Bangladesh. I, used to, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I used to go to their houses and jolly eat in the same uh, uh, dishes. From I, the same plate? Yes, same plate. Yeah, you ate. And in the class you had Muslims and non-Bengalis, minorities, Muslims? No, 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 non-Bengalis, but we had Muslims. Muslims in your yes. bachelor's and master's yes. degree also? Oh, in a college life we had non-Bengalis. Okay. Yes. And did you have a cordial relation? Oh, very good cordial relation. I went to Scottish Church College. The uh, run by the Scotch people, Scottish and, church, and we used to enjoy the uh, what you call enlightened lectures okay. of the Scotch people. Okay, and however, there were hostility towards the American uh, I and mean Irish professors who are ladies mostly. Our students who are making noises, and Vice Principal, who was a strong <laughs> administrator, he said, "If you make noise." I'll explain. Is it was he was he an European, uh, the vice principal? Yes. yes. Okay. But there were many Indian professors also. Very few. Very few. But mostly Europeans. Yeah. Okay. And your instruction was it was all in English. English. And that was before forty seven and afterwards also. Yes. Uh, they were throughout English uh, English education, but mo almost all students were Bengali, right? Or Yes, sir. Mostly. Mostly. Yes, I, yes, some yes. some non-Bengali. Very few. Very yeah. few. Okay. Uh, now, when you grew up, were you ever, now that the the large number of Bangladeshi Hindu refugees have come, or Pakistani or East Bengali Hindu refugees, did you have good relation with them? Was there any altercation? Oh. Or any in our every class, half of them were from Mauritian district. Half of them. Okay. And they became uh, commissioner of income tax, they okay. run the Chakrati, my good friend, okay. income tax commissioner. Okay. And the guy, Narendra Majinda, who became IG police, he was from, of course, Vashiha, uh, my Itidna village of my family. And we used to go to Itidna, Vashiha, Devi. So we had lots of from Vashiha, Kamaka, Chakrati. I remember them with respect. So did you, did, did you ever feel discriminated? No, 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 absolutely not. Did you did, did, did you know if the na if the native gotis ever discriminate if the native gotis ever discriminate against them? No, no, no. Okay, that's very nice. I mean, there's a, people taking over, but the local mm -hmm. people is not discriminating. It's very, you know, it takes a. Uh, what about in America? Do you think you were ever discriminated here after you came here? Did you ever feel? Yes, you you were is, you were not treated properly. I can tell you in this context. I was invited by the AT&T in uh, what you call Ridgewater 
mm-hmm. number of times and they gave me reward. The Japanese, uh, Dr. Jack Gong and Young, they were so impressed that 16,000 uh, Asian Indians are being discouraged in the telephone company. <coughs> and they invited me, the most powerful speaker of Indian origin is mm-hmm. Monosen. Mm-hmm. I had opportunity to address uh, before the American guys mm-hmm. how 16,000 Indians are discriminated. I blasted them and they gave me good rewards. And eventually, in 1991, when I was visiting Calcutta, came back with honey, a problem. Dr. Jack Gong, they invited me that we are waiting. Well, what did you fly? And Senior Bush became the president and they wanted the Civil Rights Commission mm-hmm. to have a commission mm-hmm. to see how the Asian fields are did. Okay. I was selected on behalf of 11 million Asian people to go to Washington and represent the Asian people. Beautiful. For one hour and 45 minutes, I blasted American policies okay. and non-response uh, and sometimes delayed response by the Polish authorities and visitors. Okay. How the Chinese, the Koreans, Indians are being misused. Okay, thank you. Let me go back to the partition issue. Uh, do you think anybody benefited because of partition of Bengal? That is, anybody in West Bengal, East Bengal, Hindus, Muslims, Christians, uh, you know, Jains, Buddhists, anybody plains, tribal, anybody benefited because of partition of Bengal? Obviously, I cannot remember. I don't think a- any individual or any group or any anybody benefited because it, I it's don't, a, I don't remember. But I remember one man, Jagan Mandal, who was the MLA minister. You remember? Yeah, he's a scheduled caste and party he, chief. He went there with the anticipation that Jinnah will make him the law minister. He made. He made him. He law. made him, and he had to come back to India because he was discouraged, frustrated. Disenchanted yeah. Yeah. with the government of Yeah, he, 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 yeah, of course he's, he had a 20 page resignation letter which mm. details yes. all the atrocities against him. His relatives used to uh, study with me, and oh. so they told me everything. He's also from Borisha. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a huge book called Borisha Le Jogan Mando, mm. very recently came out. Um, so, but, but neither West Bengal, did you think? Is Bengal benefited or is Bengal benefited? I think refugees to some extent, they did not benefit but they have no choice. All the big and lots of Calcutta, rich people, they had investment in lands, parks, all these things. They were occupied by the refugees. But I didn't blame the refugees. It was due to scarcity of land. The government policy was such. What about the st- what are, what are, what about the state of West Bengal or what about the state of East Pakistan? Did did I'm talking about not just the individuals but also did the geographical area what we, we call Bangladesh or the geographical area called West Bengal did any of them benefit? Actually, Kola district should have remained with West Bengal. Okay, and. The other state that went to Bangladesh should not have gone there. So, okay. All right. Um, do you know anybody was victimized, anybody was lost or killed due to partition before and after, whether in West Bengal or in East Bengal? You I didn't uh, You know, when I went to Patna to work for the government of India, uh, what's his name? Chaudhi, and his relative was killed, big Jalinda, by Golam Sawa. Golam. Go, in in, Ko, ah. in, in Noakali district. In Noakali district. Yes, yeah. Golam Sawa was, was a yes. Bengal MLA. Who that lived. was a tragedy, tragedy. They attacked the house of the Jalinda family. Right, Chodhi. Yeah, 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 yeah a, a very famous lawyer. And, and his brother used to own a hotel in Patla. I stayed there for one year. Oh, yeah. The whole family was was killed and huge, yeah, and huge number of yeah Hindus uh, also affected. Um, have you ever visited the other Bengal besides Shratkhira? After forty seven, did you ever visit Bangladesh or East I, Pakistan? I visited probably Dhaka 
Once, but not two, three days. Okay. But do you remember uh, any memory of that? The uh, one student who became eventually the vice chancellor of Dhaka University was my colleague in Calcutta University. Oh, okay. And he invited me there and we were there for two days. Okay. Um, would you know why <clears throat> you mentioned about Hindu refugees? Why so Hindus fled from East Pakistan or Bangladesh? Why very few West Bengali Muslims fled, minority West Bengali Muslims fled for, went to Bangladesh? Do you understand? Why so yes, many? Yes, the reason is I don't know when Fazula was the chief minister of West Bengal. Oh, Inter Bengal. Inter Bengal. Inter Bengal. Inter Bengal, Bengal, Bengal. Yeah. He told through his policies, you remember, uh, that Hindus who are the mostly Zalindars and landlords, mm -hmm. they were trying to discriminate against the Muslims. And they would come when they would be victimized. Mm -hmm. And so, naturally, it was not unanticipated, it was anticipated consequence that the Muslims retaliated after. But, but why against very poor, poor Hindus? Because mostly were not Muslim. Uh, most of the Hindus were not Jamindas. Most of them are poor and working class people. But you know, why not in West Bengal? That lot of, there were a lot of Muslim Jamindas too. And they did not move to... <laughs> why not? I'm just asking why is it... Because they were relatively happy and the uh, policy of the government of West Bengal was not as discriminatory as it was. Do you think it was a discriminatory policy in East Policies, Pakistan? In East Pakistan. Pakistan. Najibuddin, Najibuddin. Uh, okay. Mm, now, do you think Hindus and Muslims can live together? Definitely, definitely. Okay. We have the extreme examples of Najibuddin Islam and Gaurav Masawa. How can you forget all of a sudden? Chaudhuri Chai Phul Phul Chai Avar, Kazla Dedi Koi. That was the famous song. Sure. I remember, after my time, I met Pridhar Majid. Pridhar Majid, who was the Bengali uh, professor called the university. And it's a tragedy. I was reading a book, article yesterday, why Bengali after Ravinda Tego did not get the Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm. Because they are not translated. And I, Narilal Shain, Kazi Zakaria of Astoria, on what you call International Translation mm -hmm. Committee. Mm -hmm. You remember, and you probably will remember, and we wanted some professors to come from either of the mm -hmm. and uh, encourage, encourage to, to be translated mm -hmm. as part of Columbia University and we used to raise money. Mm -hmm. I donated 500 cases to raise money. Mm -hmm. I donated 500 cases a year. Mm -hmm. You probably donated 100 dollars, 200 dollars, and we raised 20,000 to at least and incorporate but it then, okay. uh, did not work together. Yes, yes. So um, now that I understand you're going back back home, you're going back to West Bengal to live permanently, what is your, your thought? My thought is that America is becoming so disorganized. Mm -hmm. Every day read papers that the rich people are accumulating more money and Capitalism is defunct. Extremely, because capitalism is dead. What about it? Cannot give give a solution for people like you that you have to go back to India. That no, I I respect that uh, guy, second guy, what's his name, uh, uh, Bakshar uh, director. What's his name? Bakshar. Uh, Bakshar. I. Uh, what is that name? Head of the and uh, not Bill uh, Gates. Bill no, Gates. No, Bill Gates. No, the second man, Bakshar, uh, chief, you know? Okay. Anyway, for And he told that it is the duty of the rich people to pay, pay our... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I, see, I see. But what about people, elderly people like you? Do you think uh, America can take care of elderly people like you? Yesterday I, wrote, I read in the paper that they are going to cut off the benefits of the Lali people, the Republican Party. Mm. They are trying to... Dis I personally think neither party is interested 
in America's improvement. Okay. Both of them are equally in disorganized. Okay. Now going back to um, going back to our Bengal scene. How can you tell me a little bit about the house you grew up in in Bagbaja? What how can it's a small house, big house? It's a small house. It's a single family house. It's a single. Family. How many floors? Three. Three. Uh -huh. And how old is the building? Nineteen thirty-seven. So it is. So it was built in thirty-seven. Yes. So it probably rebuilt because Bagbaj is a very old area, right? Yeah, that's right. 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 So it, it they built it was built by your grandparents. No, my father. Father, I see. And is the building is still there? Yeah, I'll give it to my nephew. To nephew. So you are you going to be staying there for? No, some time? I am going to live in the old daycare home in Rajput. Rajput, okay. But do you plan to visit that old house? Maybe I'll visit. Okay. We are almost at the end now. Do is there anything else like to talk about? Be focusing on Indian partition, dividing of Bengal. Uh, that I didn't ask. Is there anything like you want to add? It was it was a great mistake of uh, Nehru and Sardar Patel to have accepted partition. Gandhi had recommended Jinnah to become the president. Why Nehru could not accept it? He. Uh, would have been the figurehead Jinnah uh, to satisfy his personal uh, ego. If it should have been accepted, the country could not have been could not have been divided, and that was the greatest tragedy to have a united country. Yeah, but and the most way Jinnah never anticipated that they would become a terrorist country. He yeah. openly said that I want a Muslim. Backward days to be uplifted with the separation of the country. But but many people also don't don't many people also say, even if Jinnah wanted not to partition the Mu, he would have been over. I mean, overpowered by the force he has released. Or even if Nehru didn't want want to be the prime minister, power of the Congress and the communists would have overpowered him. That is to say. They were not individuals then, that they were at least a movement they couldn't have stopped. No. Isn't it true? It is a very a serious consideration that Deakat Ali, Deakat Ali was somewhat violent, but Jinnah was not that violent. Like but, uh, but did Jinnah do anything to stop the killing in Punjab or Sindh? No, he did not. So, and he or or northwest frontier province mass killing of Hindus and Sikhs and, not only and that, Jains. Not only that. He unfortunately, very regrettably, won the confidence of Fazil Haq, who passed the resolution nineteen forty, Pakistan resolution. Forty two. Yeah. And and Fazil Haq was not a very what you call pro Pakistani man. No, he was not. He was not I just yeah. <laughs> And when I learned, Fazilak used to come to my father's house when he wanted to become cheapest. Everybody, she was most, everybody came to my father's house. He was the richest man of Calcutta. And Fazilak used to come and stop uh, in his door because he has another one Swatchman. And he used to see, and then when he called, came, he went upstairs to see. And I saw Fazilak, I liked. When Sarandos came out of the jail uh, in Hara, mm -hmm. Fazilak greeted him. So I had to win the session. But Najibuddin, I never liked them. Like the Shravaddi also, mm -hmm. I did not like them. They are the destroyers of the country. So, okay. And final words? That's the final word? I have a word, probably newspapers have mentioned, that Gandhi, when he was brought from Africa, with Gopalay, who was a moderate congressman, he welcomed. And it was also said that he was a very friendly man. The British manipulated to have Gandhi visit and take the leadership. But okay. but Valgagada Tilak said, she was on the most, she was the greatest hero. She was most. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.